Hi guys, it's Rana from online rana.com with a video tutorial of ZKD Card One Software Management Attendance Software Management System. So in our previous uh, lecture, we have covered our scheduling timetable and all that. So and uh, this is a new module uh, on attendance maintenance. And let's move to our slide of attendance management. Tennis manual. First one is uh, we will upload user info. The employees that we have created, we will push our employees from software to tennis machine. So, info and fingerprint. So, we will only just send our info because the employee will be enrolled on the machine at the remote side. So, we will just push its info name id and all that and when you in the remote side in the machine uh, just uh, you have to query a the employee id and enroll he or she finger or uh, finger or facial impression whatever you want to enroll uh, you may use its facility password fingerprint rfid card and flash them but i i will go Mm, to a fingerprint official uh, will not uh, capture any video of how you can roll but it's very simple you can go your machine menu and user menu and just there will be a buttons of uh, uh, query C press on query and when you press on query the all the employees that we have shifted from software to that machine will be appear there just add their employee id and enroll the facial or finger very simple okay let's move to our software now our machine is connected and let's move to our upload user info and fingerprint click on it now you can see machine is connected here is our our company departments and all that when you click on the company both two employees will be appear it's a rana first one is and the other one is alex so we have just two employees so what information you want to push on the machine user info fingerprint if you have a card uh, uh, sorry reader scanner so if you have enrolled a bunch of bulk of employees enroll in head office and after that you push their information to that machine it's possible you can do it so if you want this easiest way is just push, push their information and, and allow your assistant or any IT personnel on to remote site just uh, add that enroll that finger and uh, facial of that employee it's that easy. so I will check out finger photos in DB you can take uh, your photos of them because i702 is giving the uh, uh, the opportunity you can download upload the photo but here you are an option you can still send its photo through that software to that machine so photo is the folder I read more okay let me select that employee uh, if you want to select all select all invert all unselect all so if you uh, you have a bulk of user so if you want to uh, you can search that employee by custom just add your query equals does not equal a like I maybe use it a like mm, what is employee ID is mm, this is not the employee ID employee ID is 202 okay let me check it okay find it no let me check what we have the employee ID for that person maintenance employees Inquire include we have uh, two double zero one employee. 
अपलोड यूजर सर्च यूर एम्प्लॉय मैनेजर एंड एलेक्स Let me do it. It's mm, to find. So it's fine. So it didn't set the employee ID that I have given, but it use the ID of account number as the employee ID of that employee. Okay, it is to. It is selected. So you can make sure if you want to have send push a bulk user, select all. Not. Nothing will be wrong with that, but if you want to as a selected user, make sure it it must be selected. No other one will be selected. Other will you will make a trouble. Uh, you will be be in uh, any trouble because I have did uh, I mistakenly uh, I want to push my only one employee on that machine. You know, All that I think four hundred, uh, maybe one hundred fifty employee already on that machine. You know, when I try to resend all that data to that machine of my admins and managers, which I user have set my privileges, uh, uh, all will be uh, go wrong. So because uh, it will override. what information you are sending so okay now select invert all custom suppose a two id select it okay upload to that machine i am sending it upload So it's sending, uh, pushing data to that machine. Thing I it's done, hundred percent done. Upload fingerprint zero at that time. Finish upload user. So it's giving time. The user is transfer uploaded. Okay. So this is the how to you can upload or push data to the machine. So let's jump back to our slides. Okay. Uploading data, download attendance logs. Hmm. Okay. Suppose uh, I will go to a second part, a third part. Download user info and fingerprint. First, let me explain that, and after that, I will go to a download attendance log. Okay, go to software. Download user info. Um, that if you want to delete a user from machine, biometric machine, simply you can delete. You can delete from here. And if you want to uh, download all the data that you have, uh, is registered or enrolled on that machine, so you can fetch their data from that machine to software. Uh, let me suppose. Suppose let me check because I have a data on that machine. Browse user data. It's downloading all data that are enrolled on machine. You can see here is my user that are enrolled on that machine because I have pushed all my user to that machine. 
so suppose if I want to uh, uh, delete any one of them I can delete here so only finger if you want because this machine has a capacity of 4 under facial impression and 2000 finger any employee that is mm, resign and you have to delete also delete from that machine otherwise that machine will be bottleneck of finger or facial so suppose let's invert our mm, let's me search a custom employee which will be 7 so this is a asset pervade now select it I want to delete that employee from machine uh, delete user your only finger if you want to delete the user all the data will be erased its finger in uh, enroll finger and facial and all the information that is lies on that machine will be deleted if you want to keep the user in machine if you want to keep the data of that user in machine but only you want to erase its finger you can delete it by only your face or password three options are there a user can mark his or attendance through password through face or through finger so if you want to delete any one of them select it if you want to complete delete all the th three things password face and then so delete the user so let me uh, this user is selected so I am now go going to delete it so it will be as are you sure to delete total row 3 so no I do not want to delete let me uncheck that one and that one because this one Alex I have I recently I have just uh, in the moment I have pushed that user into that machine so that's why he is asking me to delete that one okay let me delete first the, this one then so are you sure total one yes now the user is now deleted now you can search you, you cannot find a user so let me find another user which I recently pushed which is ID is 2 Two zero two. No one is there. Only two. Which I see is stained. Okay. code is fine okay, let me find all where is let's search Alex Alex no code is fine from here delete user yes now the user is deleted so mm, let's move back to our slides so we have download tennis logs and delete a selected user again go to your machines and browse the user in device or download your data 
or if you want to delete it you can delete it I want the finger finger deleted face face or all the information you want to delete, delete it so that's from uh, download attendance log uh, in the next lecture we will uh, download the attendance log and download user information and fingerprint is complete so take care bye bye